ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Strage, and here I have another review for you, except this time it comes from a uh, newcomer uh, filmmaker, uh, Oliver Daly. And uh, I guess this, uh, this film is what, uh, what you get when you cross an off-roading BMX uh, 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 director with a, a robo-assassin dog movie. Um, so we have a couple of interesting ideas here, and it's put out by, um, several different production companies here, Global Road Entertainment, uh, like Shore, uh, Shore Entertainment, Phantom 4 Films, and it was distributed, um, by... Global Road Entertainment. So, the story here is, uh, and the name of the film is called AXL, A-X-L. And at first I thought that the CGI'd uh, robotic dog assassin was fairly clunky, um, but... They made it move so effortlessly in here, and uh, um, there. So, before I get into that, at, at least I'll uh, tell a little a, a bit of the story. So, Miles, played by Alex Neustader, who uh, we will actually know uh, uh, from uh, uh, playing Bram Bowman in uh, in the series. Uh, colony, um, but uh, he's a, he's also in a video short film with Imagine Dragons. He he played in Agents of Shield, um, and played in many uh, different sh uh, short uh, short films. Um, but this is kind of, uh, I think one of his breakout films. Besides, you know. I, I believe uh, where he is actually in one of the t uh, title roles. So he plays Miles, who evidently is a BMX biker, and he uh, goes up against some of the most talented BMX bikers in the world. Um, and he has a lover interest in Sarah Rays, who evidently is um, another guy. Uh, 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 Another guy, a guy by the name of Sam, um, Sam Fontaine, where he's played by Alex uh, McNichol, and uh, he's kind of a surfer d a dude who takes him out to the middle of no nowhere when he re uh, and he invites him to uh, to a party, and when he realizes that he's kind of got eyes for his girl, uh, he takes him out in the middle of nowhere and uh, leaves him for dead after a BMX accident, and that's when the um, robo-dog uh, uh, assassin that has been um, terminated from be, uh, being funded by the government because nothing has gone anywhere, uh, and they haven't gone to human trials yet, um, 
this is where the do uh, where the dog axial um and axial stands for attack exploration logistics uh, and that's pretty much wh what he is he's most advanced uh, uh, artificial intelligence, and he's a learning uh, program that was created by um, so uh, uh, two government officials. And uh, what happens here is a relationship uh, ship between the two uh, evolve. We have the the sinking relationship where where he follows uh, uh, um miles is every uh, every command and uh he ends up being helpful uh in some of his bmx racing and uh, uh but it, here's the thing sam fontaine uh ends up uh finding out about this dog uh, and uh he sets out to set him on fire and destroy him. And uh, there's a real cruel part in here where, where he takes all, all of his friends and uh, they, they basically almost destroy him. And uh, by piecing them together with parts of their own, they put him back together with love and care, Sarah Ray's and Miles. And uh, <laughs> there, are some, uh, there are some humorous parts like, <laughs> Evidently, the dog can hack into the uh, 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 to banks and stuff and uh, spit out money for the, uh, them, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, the end of the film leaves you w wondering ex exactly where this film is going. But this film did not have any kind. Uh, 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 from what I understand, it didn't really have a very good, um, a very good. Uh, critique from some people and, and I I think that they had it all wrong um, I think that this film was fairly intelligent intelligent um, I thought that the character design of this dog was very very cool looking it was like it was like a giant silver Great Dane uh, that, uh, that um, you know it, it it's it's an ever-changing thing, and it kind of reminded me of like a similar program to like Knight Rider, except uh, it, it, this had the characteristics of a dog, <laughs> and uh, in a sense, it was just a puppy learning uh, when it was not in kill mode. Uh, you know what I mean? It was meant to be a weapon of mass destruction, but it ultimately ended up having uh, an entirely diff a different ulterior motive. So. I thought that um, for a very um, short and brief uh, action f uh, film, I thought it was entertaining. Um, I thought the characters were, they were unique. I thought that Becky G, uh, I think that Becky G is uh, um, definitely a very pretty young gr uh, girl, and she's growing up to, uh, to a very mature, uh, a very beautiful looking young lady. Um, and uh, I, I really liked her in. Um, Sabian's Power Rangers uh, uh, movie uh, before before this, so I think that um, she is going to be a relatively uh, decent uh, actress in uh, the coming years. I think uh, she's got a very pretty face, and uh, I think she's the next uh, uh, big thing, at least in child st uh, stars. Um, so, uh, thank you for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. This is what the film looks, uh, looks like. I picked up the Blu-ray DVD, uh, combo pack of it. I, uh, personally do not like Blu-ray, but, uh, but, um, unfortunately in this day and age, you kind of have to rise to the occasion and get, uh, and, uh, get yourself what, uh, uh, what the, uh, what the world is changing it into. Eventually, they're going to uh, just force DVD out. And, uh, I, I think that's wrong. Uh, I think that DVD is just fine. Uh, I, I don't need Blu-ray. Uh, Blu -ray. It's not... Uh, I mean, there are fans of, of it all over the place. I'm just not one of them. And uh, I will not support um, and, uh, the uh, Blu-ray entirely. So uh, appreciate the... Uh, 
the um I, I appreciate you being able to co uh, come and listen to my ramblings on on these films i just enjoy um talking about these uh, uh, films and uh, uh like i said the only negativity i can say about this uh, uh, this film is at first the character uh, design of this do a dog seemed clunky but they made it look effortless uh with the cgi involved and uh, um it was fairly entertaining uh, in the end so thank you for listening enjoy your day evening or morning wherever you are appreciate the time spent on my page enjoy <laughs>